awesome animal relationships. Number 14. Hanama and Cubs How would you like an orangutan for a babysitter? This is a three-year-old male orangutan who formed a bond with these two lion cubs at Myrtle Beach Safari in South Africa. He looks after the cubs as they play, runs with them, and obviously likes to cuddle up with them as well. Number 13. The Fox and the Tortoise now Here's something of a real-life example of that old story. At a garden in East Sussex in the UK, a fox arrived that managed to befriend a 60-year-old tortoise named Number One. Pictures of the unusual encounter were captured by a visitor at the garden. She said the reptile showed no fear of the fox, and the two animals began playing together. Now it appears the two have become best buddies. Maybe the fox brought Number One out of its shell. Number 12. You wouldn't think of felines and rodents becoming best friends, but a foster kitten and a guinea pig have been pals for more than a year. A video showed the unlikely friends nestled together in a basket, still friendly, over a year after they first met. You can see stills from the video here. The two animals regularly play together, and the cat seems to enjoy using the guinea pig as a pillow. Number 11. Ziva and Donoso, and hopefully we're getting those names right. In Germany, a three-week-old fox cub was found lying in the road next to its mother after a crash. A couple adopted the animal and named it Donoso. When they took the fox home, they were surprised to see it forming a strong bond with their collie named Ziva. Donoso also formed friendships with the couple's other pets, including two piglets and a Bengal cat named Leopold. Donoso even uses the cat flap to get in and out of the house, but the relationship with Ziva is exceptionally strong. After Ziva befriended Dinozo, the fox started to believe it's one of the dogs. Number 10. Prince and Chobi. So who said dogs and big cats can't get along? A Labrador named Prince met a lioness named Chobi at a game reserve in South Africa, and there was instant chemistry. Chobi was brought to the game reserve as an orphan when she befriended the lab, and the friendship has grown ever since. Chobi was recently released back to the wild to hunt her own food, but the bond is so strong between the two friends that she regularly returns to the game reserve to play with Prince. Number 9. Simon and Sammy Sammy was a four-month-old boxer puppy in South Carolina who had been abused by his owner. He had been shot in the head, dragged behind a car, and then spray-painted. The poor guy was left for dead, but he clung to life for three days when someone arranged for Sammy to be rushed to an animal clinic. While there, a four-year-old border collie named Simon was also recovering from his own abuse. He spotted Sammy recovering from surgery and went over to the operating table and offered his paw in a gesture of support. From that point on, the pair has been inseparable. Number 8. Penny and Roo. This is a really odd couple. Penny the Silky Chicken and Roo the Chihuahua were both rescued by Alicia Williams of the Duluth Animal Hospital in Georgia and have become good friends. Penny was being used for experimental purposes in a lab when she was rescued. Roo was found cold and alone in a park ditch. The pup was born without fully formed front legs and was likely abandoned. A customized cart was made to help Roo get around and now the fowl and canine keep staff and clients entertained at the animal hospital. Number 7. Sappy and Dakota. It looks like opposites do attract in Illinois, size-wise in this case. Dakota is a horse who took a shine to a kitten named Sappy. As Sappy grew up, Dakota acted like a father figure to the cat. Now the two are inseparable friends. They spend hours cuddling and playing with each other. Sappy will even climb Dakota's tail to take a nap on the horse's back. The equine feline relationship is one of the most unusual bonds in the animal kingdom. You might say the cat shows a lot of horse sense. Number 6. Cheesecake and Wiener Dogs One of the world's largest rodents formed an instant connection with a litter of abandoned dachshund puppies. A capybara named Cheesecake is serving as a mother figure to the four pups that were brought to an animal shelter in Arkansas. Three days after they arrived, the capybara took charge of the new arrivals. Cheesecake and her charges seem to be inseparable as you can see from the pictures. Did you know capybaras can weigh nearly 150 pounds when fully grown? Number 5. 
biscuit, swally, bing, and ducklings. Although it sounds like a law firm, this is a friendship that cuts across several species. An animal lover from Texas brought home a couple of prairie dogs named Swally and Bing, and they ended up forming a bond with Biscuit the Labradoodle, that's a Labrador Poodle crossbreed. A couple of ducklings were added to the tribe later, and all the creatures have become great buddies. The animals often cuddle and nap together, and you can see in the pictures how they even swim and bathe together. Pictures of the unusual relationship have become a hit on Instagram, as have posed pictures featuring Swarley and Bing in a variety of comedic scenes. How is it these animals all get along so well? Number 4. Frog and Snail how often do you see these creatures buddying up together? A photographer caught his pet green tree frog making friends with a snail. The odd couple lives in Jakarta, Indonesia, and met up with one another on a tree branch, whereupon the frog sat patiently as the snail crawled onto the frog and perched itself atop the amphibian's head. Do you think it's a sign of affection or the slowest game of leapfrog ever? Number 3 Real Life Mowgli. We're including this story even though, technically speaking, it's not about a relationship between animals per se. On a remote island in Indonesia, a four-year-old boy named Dio Sapatra could not seem to find a human friend, but he has formed an amazing friendship with a black-furred gibbon named Patra, not unlike something out of the Jungle Book. The two have known each other since both were babies and have grown up on Bintan Island. They were actually raised by Deo's parents at their home and rarely spend time apart from each other. It's said the little boy is very protective of Patra and even refers to him as his brother. Number 2. The Roo and Apples well, they say the outback can be a lonely place. Maybe that provides an explanation for this story. In Australia's Northern Territory, a male kangaroo and a female pig named Apples seem to have struck up a special relationship. They've been spotted hugging and cuddling with each other and becoming extremely close. The pig's owner claims that when he tried to break up the relationship by taking Apples away, the roo nearly tore down the fence. The strange relationship has been going on for about a year and doesn't seem likely to end soon. To paraphrase Ghostbusters, roos and pigs living together, what do you make of all this? Number 1. Moose and Fox Juniper Fox is something of a social media star with around 975,000 followers on Instagram. Chances are you follow the Red Fox, but did you know she is also best friends with a dog named Moose? Her owner, Jessica, who also took these pictures, says Juniper is in love with the Australian Shepherd mix and is constantly trying to get his attention, not unlike a little girl with a crush. Juniper was only five weeks old when she was brought home, and she and Moose were instant friends.